Hey you guys, Tommy Noonan here with Noonan Builds. Got a fun topic for you today. We're gonna dive into the 2021 IBC and IRC code changes. But what we're really gonna talk about in specific is how on wood based sheathing with a stucco cladding or a masonry attached cladding, why we are seeing bona fide drainage spaces behind those cladding systems and the movement we're seeing in the whole industry towards more durable and drainable wall assemblies. The IBC was developed by the International Code Council in the year 2000, and they release code updates every three years. But what's unique about the new code change that came out in 2021 is that with regard to weather resistive barriers and cladding such as stucco or any masonry adhered veneer, we're starting to see increasing language towards maintaining a drainage space and a drainage gap. And essentially they divided the country up into two different climate zones, moist and marine and dry climates. And you're gonna see big changes in the language that are affecting specifically these moist and marine climate zones. In order for us to better understand these building codes, it's really important to know what ASTM we're referencing here. And that's ASTM 2556. ASTM 2556 essentially splits up two types of weather resistant barriers, type one and type two. The most common type one weather barrier we'll see is our 10 minute building paper. However, I do want to point out that we've seen a lot of coated sheathing products come to the market. For example, Huber's Zip System, very popular in a lot of the country right now, as well as uh, LP Weather Logic. So what's important to know is that those products also fall under this type one category, um, as I've seen published on both of their websites. So now I want to jump into type two weather barriers. Behind me, I've got a layer of 60 minute building paper. That essentially is the threshold for that type two cutoff, meaning that that's got a 60 minute water holdout rating. And I put here a sheet of Tyvek. Tyvek's just a very well-known product around the country. It's also a product that he, us here at Noonan Builds rely and trust on day in and day out. So I wanted to kind of group these type twos into essentially the, the minimum as well as the high performance options. So we can paint you guys a real big picture here as far as type one and type two compliance throughout these wall assemblies in different climate zones. So as I mentioned earlier, what's happened in the code is we've essentially cut the country into three different sections. On essentially the east coast, all the way through the middle of the country, we've got what's considered the moist climate zone. Then if you look at the west coast, we've got the marine zone. Then the middle of the country into the west, we're calling it the dry climate zone. So if you're building in a dry climate zone, really not a lot has changed for you. We're still gonna be relying on two layers of either grade D building paper uh, for that sacrificial layer and drainage plane. However, the big changes we're seeing are in these moist and marine climate zones. So one thing I really wanna point out to all you guys because I've seen a massive movement to these coated sheathing products is that since these coated sheathing products are type one weather resistive barrier equivalents, the assembly is as follows. You have to have the zip, which is your main drainage plane, all the fenestrations tied into it, you then need a second layer of a 10 minute equivalent and then a rain screen or drainage space of at least 3 16 of an inch. These products have typically sold themselves on this cost savings benefit for builders because it eliminates a trip around the building, but this code change just added a trip back. All right, now let's dive into these type two WRBs. If you are going to be utilizing a type two weather resistive barrier on your project, this assembly can be a little more traditional for builders. The code states that in a moist or marine climate zone, a type two WRB with a drainage efficiency of 90% or greater can be used as the primary WRB layer. The second layer must meet one of the following. It either needs to be a foam plastic insulating sheathing, for example, continuous insulation, or other non-water absorbing layer or a drainage space. This is a product we've been using for several years now. This is the Keen drywall rain screen. And I'm just gonna pull the roll out here. It's an incredible product. Comes in at 0.2 inches, which is six millimeters. And this is what gives us that bona fide air gap behind our cladding system. What I really like about Keen though, and what they've done extremely well, ease of installation, these can still get nailed off with our traditional stinger staplers, just a cap staple. Um, but what I also like is when you aren't doing just stucco, they also have incredible products for siding. They've got the easy furring strips. Essentially, it's just a synthetic batten. We use this traditionally just behind siding products. Keen also offers another great product, which is a UV stable rain screen for use in open joint claddings. 
Another one for those trying to create more efficiencies in the build process, Keen also created what's called drywall lath net, which is essentially a rain screen with lath already attached. But Keen is, I think, one of the most innovative drainage mat companies out right now. And I encourage you guys to look at their website. And if you're in any market, they're in it. So please, by all means, reach out to a rep, get a sample, because we're all going to need to start learning about better drainable wall assemblies. So like you guys all know, Noonan builds big DuPont Tyvek guys. We love it. Great product. And here's why we're not too worried about this code change. All five of the DuPont products, home wrap, commercial wrap, commercial D, stucco wrap and drain wrap, all meet this type two high performance weather resistive barrier. But not only that, they also meet the ASTM 2273 for drainage efficiency. The home wrap and commercial wrap have a 90% drainage efficiency and the commercial D stucco wrap and drain wrap 98% percent efficiency. And you may be asking yourself, why does the drainage efficiency matter? And here's why. Even throughout these moist and marine climate zones, this would be a compliant wall assembly. One layer of DuPont Tyvek and a second layer of DuPont Tyvek on top. So for those builders out there trying to value engineer and keep compliance but also be on the high performance side, DuPont Tyvek offers an incredible solution for us. Granted, here at Noonan Builds, I'm always going to encourage you guys to move towards the rain screen with this bona fide drainage space because that's the best way to build. Uh, on all of our projects, where we can, we will use a rain screen because we know, and science has proved it, that when you do have this 3 16 air gap, the water will just poof, travel right behind the back of the cladding and almost doesn't even interact with the weather resistive barrier. So then again, please, always take that next step forward and use these high performance products. So it's an exciting time and I always encourage you guys no matter what climate zone, no matter what part of the country you're in, always follow the most stringent code language out there. Whether it be the IBC, the IRC, or your local code, if anyone's pushing you to go to the next step, it's always a safe bet to be at that highest code acceptance. Um, and again, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and drain on. Hey everyone, welcome to the Noonan Builds YouTube channel. I'm Tommy Noonan, a second generation builder and general contractor working here in San Diego, California. Throughout my life, I was privileged enough to work alongside a master builder and I've learned a lot along the way. And I hope to pass some of that information and knowledge along to you guys as well. On our page, we're gonna dive into the core principles of building science, talk about new and innovative products that are coming out, but also give a sneak peek in some of the beautiful houses we're able to put together here on the California coast. We also are planning to talk to industry experts because the way you learn is by talking to smart people that know a whole lot more than you do. So I hope you guys can learn along with me and enjoy the channel. And if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Thank you.